When we're treating aortic stenosis specifically and we're offering surgery, women are getting small valves. That doesn't necessarily set them up for options in the future if it's a bioprosthetic valve. So that's a concern. If there's one fact that everybody needs to know in 2025 about valve disease in women, what would it be? What I would say that we're really focused on improving outcomes for all of our patients who have valve disease. And we really base that on the data. And unfortunately, we haven't done a good job of including women in our clinical trials. And so we don't have as much data to support our decision making. And in fact, we had two recent trials that came out that did enroll only women. So we proved that you can enroll women. And what it showed us is that when we're treating aortic stenosis specifically and we're offering surgery, women are getting small valves. That doesn't necessarily set them up for options in the future if it's a bioprosthetic valve. So that's a concern. I think it's something that all of us should have in our awareness, whether we're involved in the structural interventional space or cardiac surgery space or in any other field of medicine. I think it's so important to realize that not all patients are the same.